So recently I just finished Elden Ring, totally completed it, and I heard there was multiple endings. I got Rani's ending, which I think is called the Age of Stars ending. So I was interested to see what other endings there are, because I think there's six. Well, according to this video, there's six. But yeah, man, let's check out what these other endings are. It was definitely a tough battle against Radagon and Elden Beast, but let's see. I appreciate that he's wearing the Radana the Radan helmet, because that's what I was wearing too. So this is the ending I had, I'm pretty sure. I'm assuming you had to complete her quest line, which I did do. The battle is over, I see. Also, just pay attention how her how she speaks, but her mouth doesn't move. I noticed that when I watched my ending. I forgot is te is technically Marika or Radagon is her is her dad, right? Cuz her mom is Ranala. And also I figured out this isn't Rani's real body. This is like a puppet she made. I mean, you can see by the strings, but... I do solemnly swear... ...to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand-year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all. Reaching the great beyond. The chill night. Does that mean she's inciting the Ice Age? Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? My fair consort eternal. What does that mean? Does that mean that technically you would be first Elden Lord like Godfrey was and she's the new sort of, I guess, ring bearer although it is not a ring so that ending's pretty interesting i don't fully understand all the lore i have watched a few lore videos on elden ring because i was quite intrigued i wonder if in dlcs we'll get more or if they'll just add extra bosses or something it'll be interesting to see more lore on that because i don't know how elden ring and dark souls lore works i'm not too sure if it's uh wait what the fuck become frenzied lord is that what that said Frenzied Flame ending. It is very weird that when you wear no clothes, your character is wearing a thong. Well, kind of. Ew. My man looks like he's just tangled with a dragon. His back is burnt up as fuck. I see. So you turn into Ghost Rider. That looks like the Elden Beast head. Jesus Christ. Ah, you just burn down the entire tree. Or the whole world, maybe? Who knows? Now 
my new burn too. So the whole world just burns down now that the Elden Beast is gone. That one was actually quite interesting. The more depressing ending for sure. I think I like Rani's ending more. Although technically you could probably argue that the same thing would just happen. She would be the new, the new Marika and just fucking control everything and do it her way. And then you would just be the new Godfrey the first Elden Lord because I'm assuming that's what she meant. So how do you do this? If you obtain the Frenzied Flame, Melina will appear in a cutscene after the ending. Oh wait, is it there? Ah, so if you obtain it, obtain it before. Who's Melina? So you have to do a quest line for that one as well. I, the only quest line I did was Rani's. Ah, the Dung Eater ending. This is going to be the best one. Use Mending of what? I actually use Mending Rune of the Fell Curse. I actually only saw the Dung Eater at the Round Table Hold. I never met him in the, in the actual world. I'm assuming there's a way you could get... Obviously, there's a way you could get his armor and stuff. So he, this is where you put her head back on. I'm actually quite interested to see how she got this way in the first place. Like she's just a husk of a human being. So you just repair Radagon or Marika? The fallen leaves tell a story. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. very eerie for some reason that's the most disturbing one so far so if you complete the dung eater quest line he becomes the the new he becomes the new lord or well, you're the elden lord and he's the he's the new leader that's pretty funny so you mend her again okay What is that? Praise the sun like Dark Souls, I guess. I guess you really have a choice of using the Elden, the Elden Ring or the Elden Power for yourself or like getting rid of it like Rani's quest line because she kind of disperses it right 
But if you repair Marika, you get to control the power, I guess. The fallen leaves tell a story. The Earth Tree is back. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. The age of order. So you become the leader in that case. If you pick this one. I'm a bit confused whether the Dung Eater uh, becomes the, the leader in the other one or not. It would be quite funny if he did. But also quite disturbing. Alright, we've got two more endings. So you can... The Death Prince? Ah, Fear's quest line now. Fun fact about her. She's the one who hugs you and gives you the curse thingy. When when I killed her champions, obviously you can select to hold her or have her to hold you, and then you get to fight Lich Dragon Fortisax. Me, I just killed her because, you know, I was like, fuck this bitch. She just tried to kill me and she told me to kill her. And then I didn't get to fight Lich Dragon Fortisax. So the one boss, I mean, I could replay the game again and go fight him, but... He's kind of like Lanciax, and I'm not in the mood to go back and redo the whole game. Okay, I could do the plus one, but it's kind of long. I'm not in the mood for that. Eventually, I'll go back and kill him. Seems like a lot of the endings are very similar. So far, like, either the head gets just decimated, or you can repair it and use the ring for your own power. Fallen leaves. So he does this Tell narration every time. Of how a tarnished oh, it's raining became this time. Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of the Duskborn. I think I get it now. So these these last three endings, it depends on obviously the quest line you choose, right? So you become Elden Lord as part of their faction so you could join fear of the dung eater and be part of their cause and then when you take the the elden ring for your own power you become the elden lord and that faction rules over everybody i'm assuming so this is the normal ending so i'm assuming this is the ending most people get if they do no quest line and why is he dressed like a god god skin noble so you just mend the elden ring We get to watch this for the hundredth time today. So, Marika is the Elden Ring? I'm a little confused on all the lore. I need to catch up on some lore videos.
that Godskin Noble costume is fucking disgusting, bro. <laughs> what even is that the skin of? The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden I'm gonna be able to recite this by the end of the video. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture. So I'm assuming everybody's just fighting everybody. In that case, because you didn't pick an allegiance. The end. The endings are all very similar, actually. There's only there's only really one unique ending. So yeah, that was actually quite interesting. There's only like one unique ending in there, and I think that's the Rani's questline one, because like that totally kind of dispels the whole Elden Ring and all the runes and everything. So you can't use the power, and you use a different power, right? But Frenzied Flame ending is where you burn the world down. The others are all if you pick a quest line. And then the final one, you're just the Elden Lord and you have no allegiance to anybody. But you rule. So pretty interesting. I'm actually very interested to learn some more Elden Ring lore. I have watched a few videos. But as far as I know, the lore isn't very uh, comprehensive. It's kind of like SCP where you have to kind of assume quite a few things until you can until they tell you or whatever. It would be quite interesting to see what happens with the DLC, like what characters they bring and what new things they bring into the game, who you would get to fight as a new boss. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. I'll see you all in the next one.